we need to talk. We need to talk about rapport and relationship building because there are some misunderstandings out there in the world of selling that confuse and actually jeopardize our status with buyers. I'm Deb Calvert, and I would like to talk about rapport and relationship building in those first few moments when you have a prospect that you're meeting. Too often, we over rely on chit chat, small talk, throwaway phrases, and we somehow expect that they're going to do something magical. But I'm here to tell you that saying, how's your day? How's the weather where you are? What's new? Isn't effective. That's not even effective with buyers you've known for a little while. It's boring. That's filler. All that does is suggest that you don't have anything better to talk about. To establish rapport with someone requires you to do more than just the standard chit chat. In fact, think about what engages you. When someone engages you and causes you to want to spend more time with them, is it because they asked about the weather? Is it because they said, how are you when you know good and well that they aren't really interested in the answer to that question, that it's de rigueur, they feel like they have to ask it? Nope. What we all do when we want to determine inside our head if we're going to spend more time with somebody else is we evaluate whether or not this conversation is going to be stimulating, valuable, and worth our time. So to establish rapport and open up the relationship, we've got to differentiate ourselves. We've got to be able to ask a question or make a statement right out of the gate that shows we're different and we're value creating. You can learn how to do that by becoming a leader. We talk about this in our book, Stop Selling and Start Leading, which is all about replacing the old school, stereotypical, disengaging behaviors of sellers with different ones. The ones that buyers told us in research that they strongly prefer the ones they told us will cause them to be more likely to take a meeting with you and ultimately to buy from you. Leaders guide people. They show them an exciting new possibility in the future, and they help them to see how the pathway there is clear, and they demonstrate that they are capable of taking you to that exciting new place. So if you want to prove that you are worthy as a guide, that you're someone who can lead, you won't ask those ridiculous, boring questions. You'll cut straight to the chase and make a clear, compelling statement or ask a thought-provoking question that differentiates you from all the other sellers out there. You can do this. And when you do, you'll have a lot more fun and you'll be a lot more effective in selling. Thank you for watching this video from People First Productivity Solutions. I'm Deb Calvert, and I really appreciate it when you give us a thumbs up or a share or comment on these videos. While you're here, go ahead and subscribe. We don't want you to miss out on any of the new content or tools.